Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech with another vlog in the No Vlomo Vlog series. Apparently, there's even a hashtag for this. I think there's a hashtag for everything. But if you want to see other people who are doing uh, crazy vlogs where they're vlogging every day and they probably have only vlogged once or twice uh, before this, check out the hashtag on Twitter. Uh, there's several cool people, especially from the board gaming and RPG world, who are doing this. Uh, so, today's topic is EDH, my favorite. What is the best creature in EDH? And as you guys know, when I do lists, I can't stick to the numbers that's limited. When, whenever it's a 10 list, I put 20 things on there with a bunch of honorable mentions. So I'm doing two here today, but I also want to hear your comments on what you th think the best EDH creature is. My two right here are Solemn Simulacrum and Coiling Oracle. They have so much in common, I couldn't choose between them. Solemn Simulacrum goes in any EDH deck that has an average casting cost above 1.5. It is so useful. Drawing a card and ramping while getting a body to block with, this card is amazing. It's back in the commander decks and it's dirt cheap. I like this card as much as Soul Ring in Commander. I'm so happy with Sad Robot. Coiling Oracle is almost as good with a much lower casting cost. Coiling Oracle is one of the few cards that whenever I draw it, I am always happy to have it because I'm getting the next card and it may be coming directly into play as a land. Early in the game, it's good. Late in the game, it's better than just drawing a land. Both of these are great. And it really emphasizes one of the important things that new players miss in EDH, is that you need to look at your casting cost and build ramp into whatever your casting cost is. If your whole casting cost is ones and twos and threes, you don't have to worry about that. But in EDH, people love to cast giant things. And in doing that, you need to make sure your mana base supports it with spells and creatures that ramp. And creatures that ramp are often better than spells because it gives you blockers and it helps you stay alive until you can cast those incredibly crazy spells. Last thing, I'm not sure I'll get to this tomorrow, but I will get to it probably by Saturday or Sunday. I am going to do an Ask Me Anything for one of my upcoming vlogs. If it's magic related, post it here and I will try to go through as many as I want. Or not as many as I want, as many as I can in a short little five minute period. Uh, if it is non-magic related, head over to my other YouTube channel. Uh, I don't believe you even have to be a subscriber to make a comment there, um, but I will answer as many of those as I can on these two channels coming up here in the next few days. Thank you guys so much. This has been a lot of fun. I, I'm even considering keeping this up after November because the interaction and the comments that I've gotten have just been great. Thanks. Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech in the middle of No Vlo Mojo. Ah! How many takes is that? Let's try this again.